Ladies and gentlemen, the railroad hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents Two Hearts in Three-Quarter Time, starring Gordon McRae and his guest, lovely Marion Bell. The operetta is by Robert Stoltz, Daly Parksman, William A. Drake, Walter Reich, and Fran Schultz. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff. And our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another memorable musical is brought to you by the American Railroads. The same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sir, we have a festival of waltzes for you tonight as we visit the city where the waltz was born, the city where the Danube flows blue and bright beneath the arches, and music in three-quarter time flows from a thousand violins. The city of the great names of Franz Joseph and Count Metternich, of the Strausses and Mozart, of Lehar and Liszt, the city where music is king. Life in Vienna can be a delight for a successful composer. Tonight I shall be Tony Hofer, if not the waltz king, at least <laughs> crown prince in Vienna's musical royalty. For the melodies of my operettas are sung throughout Europe. Marion Bell is Hetty, the charming young daughter of my producer. But as our story begins, I haven't the slightest idea that old Blaustingel has such an attractive blossom on his family tree. Hedy, dear Hedy, welcome home. Oh, Father, it is good to be home from school. Now you may do anything you like. I put the city of Vienna at your disposal. Oh, Father, there's just one thing I want you to do for me. Name it, Hedy. I want to meet Tony Hofer. Tony Hofer? Why do you want to meet him? I think I'm in love with him. Oh, Father. Nonsense. I'm sure I'm in love with his music. No one else can write waltzes as he does. At school, his melodies keep running through my head all day and all night. This is the end of love's first kiss. There'll be a love when the bliss. And though the heart may cry and cry, the day will come and say goodbye. This is the end of lobster's kiss. The parting always comes like this. To happiness there comes an end. This fate we cannot mend.
that song? No. Why not? You produce all his operettas. Yes, but Tony's a playboy. A different girl every night. He sounds most attractive. Hetty, I warn you. Forget this schoolgirl crush on Tony Hofer. <laughs> Wake up, Tony. Wake up. Huh? Uh, what time is it? Blow Stingle, you barbarian, waking a man at four o'clock. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, Tony. Yes, the time when all civilized people should be in bed. Now go away, Blow Stingle. Come back after the sun goes down. In your life, Tony, all of the hours are upside down. Well, oh, can I help it if daylight makes me nervous? Now get out of bed. Have you completed the score for the new operator? Well, I have a new love song for you, if that's what you're screaming about. Oh, good. Let me hear it. <sighs> Very well. <coughs> it's not easy to be romantic before breakfast, but uh, <coughs> here goes. You, my one and only dream of love. What's wrong with it? We need a waltz, Tony. Vienna wants his love songs in three-quarter time. Blouse Stingle, a man can only write waltzes when he's in love, truly and hopelessly in love. Fine, fall in love. But be quick about it. We open in two weeks. <laughs> Blouse Stingle, you're a commercial clod. I'll give you 48 hours to come up with a waltz. And if you fail, Tony, you are through. <laughs> matter, Father? Oh, I'm worried about Tony Hofer. He's having trouble with the waltz for the new operetta. Says he can't write one until he falls in love. Now, you're his producer. Why don't you produce a romance for him? Mmm. A splendid idea, Hedy. I'll engage an attractive young girl to pursue him. Huh? That'll be a novelty. And I know just the girl. Yes? Yeah. Mitzi Reitmeyer. She's a splendid actress, and she'll have Tony head over heels in love with her. Now, what's her number? Mitzi Reitmeyer, Leopold Scott, 417. Uh, operator, operator, uh, are you ringing Leopold Scott 4177? Hello? Is this Mitzi Reitmeyer? Um, <clears throat> this is Mr. Blouse Stingle's secretary calling. About the engagement tonight with Mr. Tony Hofer. Well, you won't have to go. Someone else is going in your place. Oh, thank you, Miss Reitmeyer. Goodbye. Uh, what have I done? What will my fate be tonight? What will await me tonight? Will I encounter the thrill of romance? Is this adventure a dangerous chance? What will my fate be tonight? Truly, I'm filled with desire. Will her 
At least, no one as lovely as you are. Oh? You talk exactly the way you write music. Are you alive or some dream creature out of fairyland? I'm an angel. Oh. Angels are very important in the theater, I'm told. Yes, but they usually have bald heads and mutton chop whiskers. I know why you slammed the piano just now. You do? Mm-hmm. You're having trouble with your waltz. Now, how the deuce did you know? You can't write a waltz with your head. It has to come from your heart. Yes, and my heart's been as empty as ashes. Uh, That is, until you came into the room. Why don't you try it? A phrase like... Two hearts beat. La, 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 la. With a love so sweet While waltzing dreamily That's perfect I'll share your charms Till the break of the dawn Locked in your arms Till the new day is born Two hearts beat With a joy complete Waltzing to a new paradise The greatest of the world The world will adore it The world will unfold it It's how play once again Two hearts beat With a joy complete Oh, what a night for you and for me Two hearts beat With a love so sweet While watching dreamily Till the break of the dawn Lost in your arms Till the new day is She's inspired my best waltz, and I, I don't even know her name. I share your charms till the break of the dawn. Locked in your arms till the new day is born. Your hearts beat with a joy. Turn to the second act of Two Hearts in Three-Quarter Time in just a moment. Quarter time. In considering the ability of a form of transportation to meet the nation's needs, both from a viewpoint of national defense and our daily commerce, many things are important, such things as efficiency, economy, dependability. 
But in view of the thousands of young men and women of our armed forces that must be transported, the thousands of other people who travel for business and pleasure, and the more than a million and a quarter railroad employees, nothing is more important than safety. That's why it is such good news to learn that the railroads last year set a new all-time record in the safety of their operations. It was the safest year for passenger travel in the entire history of the railroads. And it was also the safest year for railroad employees and the users of highway grade crossings. In the first 11 months of 1952, there was but one fatality for each 2 billion, 200 million miles of passenger travel, the equivalent of 88,000 trips around the world. And preliminary figures for the last month of the year indicate that the safety mark for the full year will be as good or perhaps better than this remarkable record. Such a safety record is more than 40% better than the railroad's own previous best record and far exceeds that set by any other form of transportation. Now, here is the second act of the Lawrence and Lee version of Two Hearts in Three-Quarter Time, starring Gordon McRae as Tony and Marion Bell as Hedy with Hanley Stafford as Plaustingel. Once in a lifetime, if you're lucky, you meet a girl who has a vision of loveliness. If you're a poet, she inspires an immortal sonnet. If you're a painter, she becomes a masterpiece on your canvas. Or if you're a maker of waltzes, as I am, she gives you a melody that all the world will sing. But if you're unlucky, as I am, the girl slips away from you and the song becomes only an empty echo of your love. But although the girl had vanished into the night, her face and the scent of her perfume, the warmth of her presence lingered in my memory. What does my heart keep saying? Is it the wine betraying? I must take care and be fully aware of the moonlight, the wine and of you. And a kiss still missing This is our love night divine And you're mine, only mine If you'll give me just one moment of bliss I had lost the girl. At least I had the waltz for Blaustingle's new operetta. And so I set out for his house to play it for him. Hedy, go to your room. Oh, yes, Father. I've got to go over a new song with Tony Hofer. And I forbid you to have any schoolgirl infatuations with fly-by-night composers. I wouldn't dream of disobeying you. You can dream of it, but don't do it. Good morning, Herr Blaustinger. Uh, good afternoon, Tony. Come in, come in. I have your waltz for you. Oh, good. Did you fall in love to get it? You know, the strangest thing happened. A girl came to my studio last night. I'm not sure now if she was real or a dream. And as I looked at her, the words and music flowed into my mind like the waters of the Danube. Oh, a girl, you say. How curious. <laughs> well, there's the piano, my boy. Thank you. I consider this my best work. So, I'm anxious to hear it. I call it two hearts beat in three-quarter time. Vienna will like that. It goes... Uh, it... Well... <laughs> Oh, 
What's wrong? I lost it. Lost it? I, I can't remember how it goes. You, you didn't write it down? Uh, I never, I never write things down. Imbecile! It's the greatest song you ever wrote, and I'll never hear it. You won't even hear it. Oh, I've lost the girl, and now I've lost the song, too. The girl? Oh, did Mitzi hear it? I, is that her name? Mitzi? Do you know her? Of course I know her. Who do you think sent her? Oh, operator, get me a Leopold stock, 4177, and hurry. You sent her? My angel? Angel nothing. She's an actress. I hired her to put you in a romantic mood. Blouse Stingle, you boor. Mitzi has a voice like a six sparrow, but maybe she can remember the tune. Why, she sings like a lark. Oh, hello, Mitzi. Blouse Stingle. You have no taste. Uh, Mitzi, sing me that song. Blouse Stingle, you're a commercial clown. What song? Tony Hofer's new waltz. With a bank vault for a soul. Oh, shut up, Tony. I can't hear her singing it. You're not singing it. You don't know what I'm talking about. My secretary did nothing of the kind. I'll fire my secretary. Oh, I can't do that. I fired her two weeks ago. <laughs> I haven't got a secretary. Well, you fail me, Mitzi, and I'll see to it that you never speak a line on the Vienna stage again. Well, now what do we do? Tony Hofer, you're fired. I think I'll fire me, too. <laughs> Listen. That's my waltz. Oh, fine, but how does my daughter know it? Your, your daughter? Come down here, Hetty. Won't it be dangerous for me to meet the terrible Mr. Tony Hoffer? Angel. Two hearts beat with a joy complete. Oh, what a night for you and for me. With a love so sweet While waltzing dreamily I'll share your charms Till the break of the dawn Locked in your arms Till the new day is born Two hearts beat With joy complete Waltzing It's your greatest waltz, Tony. I never could have written it without your daughter, sir. And without her, I, I never would have found it again. Hetty, didn't I forbid you to get a crush on a songwriter? This isn't a crush, Father. Oh, no, no. We're in love. But a son-in-law who has never seen sunshine. <laughs> sir, I'll be a completely new man if Hetty will marry me. I'll never look at another girl. I may even get up as early as, as noon. <laughs> oh, sir, I'll live my life all over again. In fact... I'll even write a song about it. If we all could live life over, it would be nice, it would be nice. It would be paradise all over, paradise would be nice. Every heart would beat once more, every kiss we would encore. If we all could live life over, Two times young and twice in love. If we all could live life over, it would be nice, would be nice, would be paradise all over. Paradise, twice as nice. Every heart would beat once more. Every kiss we would encore. If we all could live be two times young and twice in love. I'll share your charms till the break of the dawn. Lock me your arms till the new day. Who hearts beat with joy Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely Marion Bell will be back in just one moment. And our thanks to Hanley Stafford, who played Blouse Stingle, and to our entire company. The musical score of Two Hearts and Three Quarter Time is by Robert Stoltz, with lyrics by Daley Paskman. 
The libretto for the operetta was written by William A. Drake from the motion picture of the same name by Walter Reich and Franz Schultz and was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroad. Marvin? Last year, the Railroad set an all-time record in the safety of their operations. In fact, so safe was railroad passenger travel that the Railroad's own previous best record set in 1949, which in itself was far better than the record of any other form of transportation before or since, was exceeded in 1952 by more than 40%. Considering the safety of all persons, not only passengers, but also employees, users of highway grade crossings, and even trespassers, the railroad safety record last year was more than twice as good as it was in 1939, the best pre-war year. Thank you, Marvin. And now, folks, here again is our charming guest, Marion Bell. <laughs> Marion, what have you got to say for yourself? Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> I had a wonderful time in three-quarter time. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. So did we, Marion, really. Oh, uh, what's on the show train next week, Gordon? Well, you just listen. <laughs> yeah. Recognize that? It's a little make-believe. That's right. The show train meets the show boat, yes. and Dorothy Kirsten will be our guest star for this world-famous musical. Yes. It's one of my favorites, Gordon. We'll all be listening. Good night. Good night, Marion. You were wonderful. All aboard! Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so, until next week, when Dorothy Kirsten joins us for a Showboat, this is Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Gordon McRae can be seen starring in the Technicolor production, The Desert Song. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. A portion of the preceding show was transcribed. Now goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. Now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Tonight, the voice of Firestone features Eugene Conley on NBC.